Hello everyone, this is the Insert Title Show and I'm your host, Wolf Strife. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about Newt Gingrich's Gettysburg. This is a really good, uh, I guess, alternate history book. Basically, what happens in it is that on the first day of the Battle of Gettysburg, instead of halting his attacks at the end of the day, General Lee actually orders an attack on Cemetery Hill which was kind of the uh, great what-ifs of the battle if the Confederacy had attacked uh, Cemetery Hill near the end of the first day because if they had been able to drive the Union off of Cemetery Hill, then there most likely would not have been a battle at Gettysburg the next day or two. You know, the strategic high ground would have been taken, so yeah, that would have been the end of it, but... In uh, the book, the attack fails, and so General Lee realizes that he's not going to be able to drive the Union forces off of this ground outside of the uh, town of Gettysburg. So instead, he marches his army south on the second day instead of attacking, and uh, he marches down to Maryland, and at the, uh, I guess it was a town, Union Mills, that's where the decisive battle will take place. So it's a really good book, very well written. The uh, battle scenes are very violent, very just brutal. I mean, it really drives home just how rough Civil War combat would have been. I mean, you know, freaking volley goes off, and I mean, arms are flying everywhere, canteens are flying through the air, heads are getting smashed open. I mean, it's really crazy. I mean, these are big fucking bullets, too, so yeah, you really have to think that, yeah, (laughs) this would have been pretty rough. And of course, cannon fire, I mean, shit. So yeah, the battle scenes are really, really violent. And I think a lot of knowledge on the battle would help a lot, too, if you decide to read this book, because, um, you know, it would just help, you know, if you knew who the generals were and... And if you know a lot about the battle, that would be good too, because you could kind of get the uh, changes that were made in the book, you know, to be alternate history. So I think having a good understanding of the Battle of Gettysburg and the men who fought it would be pretty good to have before reading this book. You know, just having a good understanding of all that. But um, yeah, it's a really good book. I think it's, uh, yeah, I like this one more than the two sequels because this was a trilogy. But uh, the other two books are pretty good, too, and I'll do episodes on those. But, uh, yeah, as far as this one goes, Gettysburg is a really, really good book. So if you're a fan of the Civil War or if you just like alternate military history books, then you will definitely like this one.